China's tech sector is expected to surge in the next few years, but the country faces a huge challenge, training enough people to fill millions of new jobs. And how does China create an army of tech workers? By calling in the overseas experts. We talked to Christian Stout now about a new approach to coach China's workforce. Hi, Christian. Hi, Stan. Thanks for that. In 1963, Chairman Mao Zedong asked China to learn from Lei Feng, the selfless communist soldier. These days, the government is paying homage to a very different model worker. To accommodate an expected high-tech boom, China is relying on some overseas expertise, turning to for-profit education providers like Canada's CIBT. Education is unlike commercial enterprise. Uh, we bring in knowledge, skill, um, and, and basically social integration uh, between two cultures. Uh, in fact, we've been uh, very supportive by the uh, Chinese government. We're getting a lot of endorsement uh, from high level and mid level uh, of government officials because we bring knowledge to the people. We're not taking anything away from the people. Starting in September, Chinese students will have access to overseas tech training priced for the local market. CIBT will offer a two-year degree program along with the U.S.-based ITT and Beijing Polytechnic University. The course will be taught in English and officially accredited by the Chinese government. But the biggest challenge lies ahead, churning out enough talent to meet an expected demand of 20 million new high-tech jobs. Christy, is this saying overall that, that, that China's current tech education system is inadequate? It is inadequate to meet the expected surge of 20 million new high-tech jobs mm. in the next five years. Right now, the Chinese education system to, to pump out tech workers is as follows. There's, there are two paths. Number one, a very low-level training path that turns out very low-level technology workers. And number two, the four-year traditional education university system, which is extremely elite. You could call it a severe meritocracy. And that's limited to an extreme few. So this kind of for-profit system would effectively extend the pool of talent. So this could be a potential gold mine for these for-profit educators, wouldn't it? It could, but since they're pricing it for the local market, the revenues they'll be bringing in will be one-tenth that of the North American market. All right, we'll check in again a bit later during the program. Thanks for that, Christy. Christy